Hmm. Is it me or he's just strange? If you are asking yourself this question, thinking why isn't it working out with Dutch men, this video is for you. In this video, I will discuss how dating in the Netherlands usually goes, so you will understand the dating culture here and know what to expect from Dutch men and when. I will also include some tips and things you should consider, so let's have a little girls chat. Hello Dutch men, I know that you're also curious and you're welcome to watch this video as well. I understand that during this video you might think, I am not like this, and I believe you. I'm not saying that all Dutch men are wired the same way, I'm just referring here to the average, not only to my experience. In a lot of countries, dating is as simple and straightforward as this. You meet someone, after a couple of dates you get serious, if the intention is of course to get serious, otherwise it's just casual dating or hookup. After having been in a serious relationship for a while, people get married and move in together. In the Netherlands, it's not like this. It surely can be, but it's not the average here. First you text, I guess nowadays it's really common to just text first, and then at some point he will ask you out. It's very common here that a girl asks a guy out, so if you are rather brave and want to take initiative, he might as well appreciate it. Then you go on a date. Dutch men are not very creative here, so they will most likely ask you out for a drink if he's the one who asks you out in the first place. They can even ask you to choose a place, like where do you want to go? In some cultures it's perceived wishy-washy and not confident, but it's actually how a Dutch man shows respect, he includes you in the process. At the same time, my boyfriend invited me to dinner for the first date. We completely forgot about the food, spent six hours just talking, so I guess sometimes the risk does pay off. In some cultures, it's also expected that a man would walk you home after the first date or after a date. Dutch men might not offer this because they don't want to make you feel unsafe and uncomfortable. But you can always ask for this. I feel like a lot of men are a bit lost and confused when it comes to dating, so they might appreciate your guidance. In some cultures, it's common that if after the first date you like each other, you will be in touch non-stop. Here, it's not the case. He might text you something in the evening to make sure that you got home safe if he's more of a gentleman type, but on average I'd say expect to hear from him during the next week. When I posted a reel to illustrate this, check it out, I will link it somewhere here so you know what I'm talking about, a lot of men said that I would not leave a woman hanging like this, which gives me a hope. If he really likes you, he will make an effort to see you in the next two weeks or so. Two weeks seems like a long time, but the Dutch really like to take it very slowly at the beginning. A Dutch lady I know, she's in her 30s, shared with me that she met a Dutch man. For the first six months or so, they saw each other once in a blue moon. It was really slow pace, and only after six months things did start to take off. I guess one of the reasons why you guys cannot meet more frequently than this is because he already has some exciting plans that he had made even before he met you, like vacation or fully booked weekends with his family and friends, so it might take even longer than two weeks before you guys can meet again. I totally understand the narrative of if he really wants to, he will find the time. It's just not really how Dutch men operate. They're not romantic like this, which is of course a stereotype, so take it with a grain of salt. And it's relative as well, it depends who you ask. If you ask someone from Scandinavia or the Netherlands, they most likely say that the Dutch men are romantic, but coming from Russia, I'd say no, which is not necessarily a bad thing because it depends on what you value in a relationship. Dutch men can be romantic in a practical sense, like they can fix your bike or be mindful about spending so it helps build a family budget, but then it's called not romantic, but it's more being practical and helpful. Sometimes Dutch guys do try to be romantic and I always wonder if it's because they know that they're dating a foreigner, so they need to raise the bar. In my previous video about dating, I talked exactly about this, splitting bills, not being romantic, and direct communication, so if you're interested, I will link it somewhere here, so check it out. 
At this stage, I feel like a lot of foreign ladies drop out because they don't feel like waiting for so long. It kills all the romance for them. But as I said, sometimes the motive for Dutch man is not that he did not like you, it's just more cultural and practical to do it this way because he has already made plans. What is he supposed to do? Cancel them last minute because of you or try to squeeze you in? But it's not comfortable, it's not convenient for him. So I think this is how most Dutch men operate. So as I said, he might be taking it very slow at the beginning because it's just cultural. But there are other reasons that are worth considering. For example, age. If you are from Eastern Europe or South America, people grow up fast there. We are used to seeing a 25-year-old man being serious because he finished studying, he moved out from his parents, he has a higher position, etc. Here in the Netherlands, at the age of 25, he is still trying to figure out what he wants in life. Maybe from 30 onwards, you can expect a level of seriousness you get in your home country from younger men. Number two, not forced to make up his mind. In some countries like Russia, for example, people are expected to know what they want. A Dutch lady I know met a Dutch man, he was 35 or so, and he told her, I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for a relationship necessarily. I'm open to anything. For her, it was a positive sign because she thought it means that he's not desperate. For me, it would be a turn off. Because I am personally drawn to people who know what they want and go for it. I think it's definitely one of the reasons I got together with my boyfriend. He came across confident and assertive. In general, I guess like with everything, people have different priorities in life. So maybe at this stage of his life, he prioritized his friends over a potential relationship. You just have to observe and see if this works for you. In the Netherlands, dating, even consistent dating, doesn't mean that you cannot see other people. You both have the right to see other people until you have an exclusivity conversation. You can expect that he dates other women, potentially sleeps with them, that he's not yet off dating apps if this is where you met. It's not being disrespectful, it's just how culture works here. Sometimes Dutch men, of course, stop dating other women even before this exclusivity conversation because he just feels that he's too emotionally invested in you. Another reason is that it's just more practical because dating other people takes time, it can get quite expensive, so he might as well think like, okay, I don't want this, I'll just focus on one person. When the exclusivity conversation did happen, at this stage, it's not a relationship yet. You just know that both of you are not dating other people. From the moment you met until the moment this exclusivity conversation happens, it can take four to six months. At this point, you already see each other fairly regularly, so at least once a week or so. And sometimes this exclusivity conversation gets skipped and you go immediately to the next stage. In general, after two months or so, after having this exclusivity conversation, you can expect to have a conversation about forming a relationship. It's funny because here in the Netherlands, they really do ask you this question. Do you want to be my girlfriend? I can imagine that this happens if a Dutch man is a bit more romantic than average. If not, then this will be just an alignment conversation. Depending on the person, between being exclusive and getting into a relationship somewhere during these two stages, you can expect being introduced to his family and friends. It's interesting that in the Netherlands, friends group are very separate. This is my friends group, this is yours, and we hang out with them separately. Because in some countries, it's more like it's our friends group and it's a little bit more merged. In the Netherlands, it's very individualistic. Of course, sometimes it can be less structured. For example, in my previous relationship with a Dutch man, we skipped the exclusivity conversation completely because it was already quite clear that we were not dating other people. And he introduced me to his family and friends even before he asked me whether I want to be his girlfriend. At some point, when you both feel ready and start spending so much time together that it gets pointless to pay for two separate apartments, you move in together. In 99% Cases, it happens before the marriage because the Dutch 
usually don't believe in marriage or want to get married later in life when their kids are older so they can celebrate their parents' love. Of course, this whole process will go differently if a Dutch man dates out of boredom or for fun. Then yeah, you will hear from him, but it will not really go anywhere. Nothing is wrong with this if it's aligned with what you are seeking as well. If not, if this is not what you are looking for, be upfront about it. If you are on dating apps, put it on your bio. If not, if you met in real life, communicate openly about it. I think we should not be afraid to be polarizing because it will repel people who would not work for us anyways and it would attract people with whom we have a greater chance. If you like this video, then don't forget to hit the like button because it helps greatly with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to my channel so we can stay in touch and see each other in the next video.